what's up, Mr. Love here. Um, we have a, uh, another circuits problem looking at a compound circuit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and analyze the various parts. We're going to look at um, this, the parallel and series parts of this circuit um, and try to find the equivalent resistance, the total current through the circuit, the voltage drop across each of the resistors, um, the current through each resistor, and the power dissipated by each resistor. Um, so starting out looking at this circuit, um, the, uh, the first part that, that needs to get simplified is um, this parallel component right here where you have a 3 ohm and a 2 ohm resistor in parallel. Um, if these were the same, say a 2 and a 2, you'd be able to just have that value um, because they're not, we need to, uh, to use a formula that's going to find the equivalent resistance and that formula is just 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 works out to be 1 over 3 ohms plus 1 over 2 ohms. Um, when, you, uh, when you simplify that, um, that works out to be 1 over what, 2 sixths is the first one, and 3 sixths is the second one, and you can fraction addition, which is probably the, the more confusing way to do it, um, but you can certainly do it that way. 5 sixths is what it works out to be. Um, so because that's 1 over RT, you need to, uh, to take the inverse of that. Um, so when you do that, RT is equal to 6 divided by 5, um, or that is equivalent to 1.2 ohms. So this section right here is equal to 1.2 ohms. Okay, now that's part of the total resistance of the circuit, um, so we need to find the entire resistance, okay, so that's only a fraction of it, um, and so this 1.2 equivalent resistance is now in series with this 6 ohm resistor, um, so if we're looking for the equivalent resistance of everything, um, that's just um, 6 ohms plus 1.2, um, so 6 ohms plus 1.2, um, and that of course equals 7.2 ohms, um, that is the equivalent resistance. If we want to find the, uh, the current um, through the entire circuit, uh, we use Ohm's law, and that's V equals IR. Um, in this case, we're solving for I. So I is equal to the voltage, which is 6 volts, divided by the equivalent resistance, which is 7.2. Um, that works out to be um, 0 0.83 amps. And that is the, uh, the current through the total circuit. So um, that's the current that's moving around through the, um, the entire circuit. Now notice when you look at um, this is in sort of series configuration and this is in parallel configuration. So all of that current is running through this 6 ohm resistor um, and only part of the current is running through each of these 2 ohm resistors. So um, what we can start doing now is making up a table that has uh, the different voltage drops, the different currents, and the different powers used up by these three resistors. Um, so the three resistors that we're looking at are the 3 ohm resistor, the 2 ohm resistor, and the 6 ohm resistor. Now, again, because um, this is part of the series configuration, the full current is running through that 6 ohm resistor. So uh, that is one of the values that we can fill in, 0 0.83 amps. If you know the current moving through that resistor, we can find the voltage drop across that resistor by using Ohm's law again. So to find the voltage through that resistor, um, it's simply equal to uh, I, which is the current, 0 0.83. times the resistance, which is 6 ohms. So 0 0.83 times 6 ohms is equal to 5 volts. Okay, so the voltage drop across that one resistor is 5 volts. Now the total voltage here is 6 volts. So if we lose 5 volts through this resistor, uh, that means that we have 1 volt available for this parallel configuration. So we can 
fill that in right there. So that's one volt and one volt because they're hooked up in parallel. And that voltage is spread out across those two resistors. And now we can, uh, we can solve for the current through each of these because we know the voltage. So um, we'll do the 3 ohm resistor first. Um, I through the 3 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage drop divided by the resistance. Um, and that, of course, is just one third or 0 0.33 amps. Okay, so 0 0.33 amps. And I through the 2 ohm resistor is equal to 1 divided by 2 ohms. And that's equal to half an amp. Okay, 0 0.50 amps. Um, and now the time has um, come, you can do a little bit of checking to make sure things sort of work out and you're following Ohm's law through the entire problem. Uh, we said that the total current through the system is 0 0.83, moving through the battery, of course, and moving through the 6 ohm resistor. Um, the current splits among these two resistors, uh, and the split is 0.33 for the 3 ohm resistor and 0 0.50 for the 2 amp resistor, for the 2 ohm resistor. When you add these together, you get the 0.83, so the currents work out. Um, there's one volt spread across this parallel configuration and five volts across this six ohm configuration, or six ohm in series. So, of course, one in five is six volts, so the voltages work out properly. Um, so we can go ahead and solve for the power. P equals IV. So the power of the three ohm resistor is equal to 0. 3, 3 amps times 1 volt, and that's equal to 0 0.33 watts. 0 0.33 watts. Um, same calculation for the remaining 2 and 6 ohm resistor. So 1 times 0 0.50 amps is equal to 0 0.5 watts. And the last calculation is 5 volts times 0.83 amps and that works out to 4.15 watts. Okay, so there we went through it. We had the equivalent resistance. We calculated the total current through the circuit, the voltage drop and current through each resistor, and finally we calculated the power dissipated by each resistor. Um, so there you have it, a, a compound circuit series in parallel configuration. Thanks for watching. See you next time.